Hi, dude. So, I just wanted to share um, what I dreamt about last night. I had this dream that, like, I was, um, I was downtown, and I, um, I didn't know that, like, you were in town, I guess, but, like, I was downtown at this, like, pier, or, like, this long dock thing, which is interesting, because I've never seen this thing in real life. But anyways, not in Vancouver at least. But it kind of looked like the pier, I guess, at like in Campbell River, which is on like the island. But anyways, I was like, I was walking. Uh, uh. I was walking along the pier, and um. I like I saw you with your family and I didn't want to like run over and like basically like throw myself into your group so like I just kind of I don't know saw you acknowledged you were there and then just kept my distance and um you ended up like walking away from the group you were with and your family or I suppose and um you just like went and like walked to the other side of the dock and or the pier and you were looking out at the water and the scenery and stuff and, um, yeah, I don't know, I was not too far away from you, so I just thought I'd walk over and, um, just, you know, stand beside you, make sure it was actually you. And when I knew it was you, I stood, like, not right beside you, but, you know, close enough, probably for, like, a meter, Mr. <sighs> Mr. Cottle's away. And, um, um, and I, yeah, like, I, yeah, I just stood there, and you eventually noticed me, and you were like, what are you doing here? And I was like, I live here. <laughs> and, like, yeah, we were just talking. And um, then I was like, well, you should, like, come here and stand side by side. And you were a little bit taller than me. I remember that. But, like, I don't know. It was just really nice to have a dream about meeting you and, being with you, and, it really made me happy, just to see you, and, even if it was a dream, it was still an interaction with you, and that made me happy, for the time being, and, you had to go, and I didn't want to, like, hold you up, so you left, and, Found out later we were at, like, the same dinner thing or something. Like, I don't know. It was a dream. But, like, we were at this conference or a dinner or something. And it was, like, assigned seating. So I was, like, sitting four tables, <coughs> like, from you. But you didn't notice that. But I noticed. And I want it so badly just to come over and sit with you and be with you. But. I just thought I shouldn't, and so I didn't, and I just, yeah, like, hung out with my table, and then, like, afterwards, 
like I thought I would try to find you really quickly and just say hi and bye and so I started looking everywhere for you and I couldn't find you anywhere and I just kept looking and looking and looking but I couldn't find you I looked in the pier and the conference place where the dinner was on the beach. Everywhere I could think of. And. Yeah, I couldn't find you. But, like, that time being with you, even in my dream, was fantastic. Just standing next to you and having you talk to me was fantastic. That was such a vivid dream for me. It was... I almost felt like it was real. When I was waking up, I just wanted to go back to sleep. I do agree that, you know, being, having this scenario uh, placed upon us, we have to be, you know, optimistic, and we have to be uh, having a positive mindset, and I would agree that, you know, we were focused a lot on each other, and, uh, this gives us the opportunity to be uh, focused on ourselves while acknowledging we want each other in our lives. But focusing on ourselves so we can be the best we can be for each other. And if I can be the best man I can be for you, like, that's going to make me so happy knowing that, like, I'm doing everything continuously to be the best man I can be for you. And. You know. In your video. Uh, you really mean. You really touched my heart there. And it really. Showed. Me how much. You care for me. And. I know. That like I tell you I care. And I love you. And miss you and I know it's obvious and I know you know it's true but <sighs> it's just sometimes so nice to hear things coming from you um, it just remind me of who you are and who we are and who we were together and who I am for you and Just to hear you say, you know, like, I just want to be the best person I can be for you, and that just makes me happy, and I know you want to be with me, and I know you know that I want to be with you, and that makes me happy, and there was another part where you're like, I know we won't be able to speak for a while, but... That's okay, because it's not even that far away, or it's not even that long. And I just thought, that's what I've been thinking. Like, it's literally not that long, but most people would say, like, that's a whole year. Like, you know, that's long, but we're not most people, and we're optimists. And I just thought that was awesome that, you know, that that's you. That's, that's my Sarah J right there. Being an optimist and being thinking with a positive state of mind and just really made me it made me smile and it made me really happy when you said you know it won't even be that long because I know it won't be that long but like it's 
It's just a lot about you that amazes me. From your personality and the way your character shines and shows who you are. To your faith and your love for others and your love for God and your optimisticness, if that's even a word. You know, when you uh, were telling me about your Bible, too, and then you opened it to First Corinthians, that just made me smile. Because I love First Corinthians. And maybe it was, you know, a reminder that love is strong, love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not self-seeking, and it is not proud. Love does not delight in the in evil, but rejoices in the truth. Love never fails. I'm a. Uh, I know that everything will work out and everything will be okay. And I just look forward to the day where I can just hug you and I can pick you up and twirl with you. And heck, I'll even throw on a dress and we can just go twirl around together. I don't even care. My nose is so runny, I'm going to blow it with the sock. Ew. want to see. Ew. JP, that's gross. I know. But anyways, um, yeah, dude, I don't know. You're, uh, you're just amazing. And, uh, I'm so honored to have you be even in my life, and want to be a part of my life. So, just want you to know that I'm always thinking about you, and I know you're thinking about me. And when I'm thinking of you, you're probably thinking of me too. So, I just want you to know I'm keeping up the awesome. And yesterday was fantastic on the 27th. It was an awesome day. People were genuinely like, well, someone's happy today. I was like, yeah, it's keep up the awesome day. They're like, keep up the awesome day. I was like, every 27th of every month is keep up the awesome day. And a lot of people actually like that. So next month is keep up the awesome day too. Every month. Anyways, uh, yeah, dude, I've been working so much, though, like, today is the first day that I don't work any places in, like, two weeks, almost two weeks. Oh, yeah, I also dreamt that my sister was there, too, which is interesting. Sorry, I got a little sidetracked it. But yeah, like, um, and, like, I want it. And my mom was there, and, which is interesting. Why were they there? But, in my dream, they were. I remember, because, like, my sister, um, after the dinner, and I was, like, looking around for you, I saw them, and, um, my sister was standing there with her guitar, and a baritone in a case. Like the guitar and like the baritone were in the case. But I knew it was her baritone. And um, yeah, it was just like, what the heck? Why is, why, why does, and anyway, so, and apparently I had a guitar with me. I don't know, it was a dream. But anyways. Uh, yeah.
I just love your character. I love your personality. I love your perspective. I love your smile. I love your eyes. and The way you make my heart feel. and The way you make me feel. You make me feel loved and cared about. And want it. And like special. <laughs> with a capital L. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. But anyways. Yeah, I don't know. You just... You make me feel good about myself. You make me good about what I'm working towards. And what I want from us. And for us. And from me to you. And, you know? I know I'm trying to be the best person I can be for me. But that's also because I want to be the best person I want to be for you. And... Yeah, and by the way, honestly, when you, uh, in your one video, when you were talking about going to the thrift store, I know I've said this before, but it was so cute, and you're like, they're not even open till, like, nine. And I just, sometimes I hear that, and I think it's so cute. Oh, yeah, and I showed JP, the guy I work with, uh, the other day, uh, I showed him your, like, joke video, and he laughed so hard, he thought that was so awesome, and I was like, yeah, she's pretty cool. Just saying. Just saying. He laughed a lot at your jokes with me. He knows you're in California, too. He doesn't know all circumstances and the whole scenario, but he knows you're in California. And, um... Yeah, yesterday was just a really good day. I had a really good day, and I hope you had a really good day, too. And today I'm going to clean my room, hopefully. I want to clean my room, but it's my laundry that's going to either make it easy or make it difficult. <laughs> Stupid laundry. Anyways. Um, Sometimes I just watch your videos just to, just to smile and to feel like you're speaking with me. Yeah. I really like you. I really love you. I really miss you. And I want you to know I always want to be with you. Sarah J. And JP. I love it when you say my name. I love it when you say my name. just something about the way you say it, the way it rings and the way it just enters my ears and travels to my cranium as a vibration and is turned into information that relays back to another department of the brain I call my cranium and tells my brain, this is a sound that I like, and I don't really understand it. But, I know I really like when you say my name. I really like it. I love it. I like it when people say my name, just in general. But when you say my name, Sarah Johnson. Sarah Lynn, when you say my name, just makes me happy. It makes me extremely, extremely, extremely happy. And I love you for who you are and who you want to be.
And I look forward to the weeks and the years and the days and the months and the seconds and the hours and the minutes and the moments we will share together. Because there's no one else in my life that I want as badly as I want you. And there's no one in my life that I have loved and felt as much love in return because of loving you. <sighs> Tay, I love you. Keep up the awesome, Tay. Keep up the awesome. Every day. Serious question though, should I continue with my playoff beard? Or should I shave it? I think it's kind of getting a little too scraggly. Let me know. Keep it or shave it. I think I should get a haircut again too though. My hair is getting very thick again. Just saying. Just saying. Uh. That was a nice stretch. Um, I got a pimple right there. Right there. It's probably because of my facial hair, actually. Never get pimples. I tried to pop it. Anyways, this is just getting weird. Um, but whatever, we're weird. And I like it like that. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Oh day, Mr. Kettle, say bye. Oh dude, your sock's falling off. In a more second. In a more second. In a more second. Hang on. I'll tell you about that. Okay, Mr. Cuddles. Say bye. 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 High five, Mr. Cuddles. High five. High five. Perfect. They gave each other high fives. Anyways. Um. Yeah, I love you, and I'll talk to you later. Okay. Keep up the awesome. Keep up the awesome every day. That's all I ask. And just know your JP loves you.